everybody, welcome to the Scott Show. This is Scott here, and we are talking about the 102550 Homeless Project. Is It is Wednesday. It is time to talk about the 102550 Homeless Project, as this is the 102550 Show. And welcome to it. Uh, my name is Scott, and I am the current uh, president of the 102550 Homeless Project, as well as the founder. Um, so there you go. Now, we are talking about all the different things that we do with the uh, 102550. And we are having a great week, folks. I just want to give everybody a shout-out for listening uh, to our podcast. We've been doing really, really well on our speaker.com site. Uh, that's where you guys can listen live, and we'll be pushing that a lot more. We're also on YouTube. Uh, YouTube isn't uh, doing so hot. We need a lot more subscribers, hits, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, but on, on speaker, we're doing awesome. Uh, we do make a little bit of uh, change back from what we do with these podcasts and videos. So if you like, share, subscribe, let us know what we're doing wrong. Let us know what you want to see. Um, we use the money to end homelessness. That's what we're using it for. That's what we're doing with all the cool stuff that we get to do with the videos. And we got the Scott and Kyle show. And we, we do this uh, wake up call every morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, now, on Saturday morning, the wake-up call is going to be at like 6, because I have to be in Minneapolis that day. But you guys will be hearing uh, the wake-up call on Sunday live from my hotel room in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It'll be awesome. It'll be a lot of fun. Now, Minneapolis is the city where St. Stephen's Human Services is. i got to give a big shout-out to all our good friends at St. Stephen's uh Human services, they're wonderful folks there, and they're just working really hard. I always see when I'm there, some of their street team people always wearing green and making sure people are taken care of. So, big shout out to St. Stephen Human Services as they are working in Minneapolis. Now, we have 10 star cities. If you guys have been paying attention to uh, the 102550 Homeless Project and the 102550 Show... The last few days, I've posted uh, two straight days of videos talking about the star cities. And it's really super important that we talk about the star cities because these are 10 cities picked by uh, me to uh, work to end homelessness in those cities. And it's Portland, Milwaukee, Charlotte, Kansas City, Tulsa, Anaheim, Newark, New Jersey, Reno, Nevada, Baton Rouge, and Boston. Now, these 10 cities were picked because they were cities that needed uh, that needed help. They had things happening there. For different reasons, they were picked. And one of the reasons we looked at Boston is because the plan was to go there in February for the winter walk. So we're really excited that we're going to be teaming up with Healthcare for the Homeless and doing the Boston winter walk. That will be February 11th, so I'm really excited for that. And then one week after that, we'll be in Atlanta, Georgia, for the uh, Georgia or the Atlanta Mission 5K to end homelessness, and that's going to be really super exciting. So I'm pumped up, folks. We got lots of really cool things happening in 2018, but we got to get out of 2017 first, and we're going to do that not with a whimper, but with a bang, uh, with uh, grand and glorious uh, welcome to 2018 and here we are and we are fully loaded and ready to go now what we need is that like I said like share subscribe on our YouTube on our speaker.com like share subscribe you guys can talk to us there's a little chat feature there and I want to get more people involved with that um, so please do so just you know get involved any which way you can we have our Patreon. So our Patreon, what we're doing with that is this month and next month. So it'll be uh, October and November. Your payments come at the end of the month. So you would owe uh, November 1st and December 1st, whichever one you sign up for. So all the money that is raised in those two months, half of that will go towards the Holiday Angel Boxes promotion that we're doing. We're trying to get 10 boxes out. I did check on uh, some stuff, and it looks like it's going to be around seven to eight dollars for uh, to send these boxes out. 
and they're going to be kind of heavy. So I, I want to use UPS and you know want to make sure that we do our due diligence to get these out to people. And I think it's going to be really exciting. So not only are we going to need Patreon people to hype it up and let's uh, you know end homelessness and give people something cool for Christmas. Even if it's a gift card, you know, I was thinking, hell, if it's brand new forks and spoons. I mean, because, you know, people can use new stuff. And, folks, if you're homeless and you got a can that was handed to you, you could use a spoon <laughs> or you could use a fork. Um, it is kind of nice to, to not to actually have that kind of stuff. And sometimes they could be used as, as tools. I mean, how many times have I used a spoon or a fork for a screwdriver or something like that? It happens. So we're looking at getting coloring books for the kids and, you know, making sure that we at least send a few pairs of socks their way. Um, shirts. You know, we're going to be looking at, you know, great plans and Black Friday, we're going to be shopping Black Friday. I think that that's going to happen. I'm going to get some really good deals, um, both for myself and for 102550. And we're going to get at least 10 of a, a certain item to where we can uh, have that and make sure it's in the Holiday Angel Box for kids and their adults. So we want to make sure we take care of the families, too. And we, we know where some of them are going already. A lot of them are going to our star cities. So please help us out. We're going to have a GoFundMe as well for the Holiday Angel Boxes. We've got another GoFundMe getting started for the Thanksgiving. And so that that will end, I think, the week before. It will end the Saturday before. So there you go. That's going to be really important that we do that. And give people a great Thanksgiving as well as giving them a great holiday season all together. Now we have great plans for 2018 like I've said. 2017 we are going to make it happen. We are going to get everything together. We've got in my hand right now I have a list of the 435 people that are in the House of Representatives. And then I also have the list in my hand of all 100 senators and we are going to be sending them some notes and we're going to make it happen folks we're going to get them uh, to listen to what we have to say so we want to make sure that we have people in all 435 districts covered so if you're in Don, Don Young's district of Alaska which is at it's all of Alaska then you count, and that Mr. Young is covered. Or if you're in Tim O'Halloran's district, or Tom O'Halloran's district, in Arizona in uh, Congressional District 1, then you're covered. We want to make sure every single one of them are covered, so please help us out. Uh, like, share, subscribe to the video, comment, tell us your, who your congressman is. That'd be cool if people actually knew who their congressman was. Some people don't even know. You know, I, I know who my congressman is. He knows he knows my name personally, and that, I, I take great pride in that. But some people don't even know who their congressman is. Now, if you want to fight for the things you hold dear, you need to know who is making your rules. Here we have a country in which we fought first in the Declaration of Independence and in the Constitution. We fought for representation. If you guys remember, no taxation without representation. We fought for that. Because we didn't have any representatives in the House of Commons and the House of Lords at all in England. But when we finally got that, we got representatives that spoke for us. And now we live in a country where people don't even know who their congressman is, who their city councilors are, or anything like that. What we need to do, folks, is get that political education taken care of. And that's what we do here at 102550. We have a committee that works on that political education piece. 
And we have 13 other committees that need your help. We have the Hunger Solutions Committee. That's actually going to be launching on Facebook and posting some stuff. Working for the Thanksgiving Buffet. That's going to be really exciting and I'm pumped up for that. We've got really cool things happening, folks. So give us a shout out. You like, share, subscribe. I can't say it enough because we need you so badly to like, share, subscribe on our videos. Talk about ending homelessness. Talk about moving forward. And we can do this together, folks. So that's that's my plan um, is to work to end homelessness. But I need you guys' help. I mean, it's plain and simple. Clear as day. I mean, I'm not. I, we can't do this alone here at the, at the 102550 Homeless Project. We need you guys, so like, share, subscribe, all that you can. And like I said, I can't say it enough, but I probably will. And you guys will probably get tired of it. So, I probably won't I won't say it anymore today. But we have so many more things happening. I'm excited. In January, I'm going to be in Syracuse, New York, and that's, I'm pumped up for that. In February, we're going to be in Atlanta and in Boston. Uh, March in San Diego. April, I'm going to be in Minneapolis uh, for the Hot Chocolate 15K. That's a personal thing, folks, because I'm going to be running a half marathon in June. So lots of running going on, and and I'm running to ensure that people have places to live. People have food in their stomach. That's why I'm doing these to totally begin with. That's why I'm going to run. So in order for me to do these runs I need you guys to step up join a committee you know I won't say the other like us on Facebook I'll say that join our Facebook at 102550 facebook.com slash 102550 easiest thing you can find you know all the states have their own Facebooks we need to have leaders in every state to promote those Facebooks. And we're going to. And we're gonna get we're gonna get to where we need to be. It's gonna take a while, but we're gonna get there. And I am more than excited to have a whole bunch of people behind me already in the smallest way from the fact that they're like, Hey, you're doing a great job, we support you. To the fact that we have people who already subscribe and already are saying, what can I do, what can I do, what can I do? We need more. So folks, that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to get more people and we need you. In whatever way, little or big, whichever way you want to be involved. And... We're going to travel a lot, so I'm really excited. And Nashville, Tennessee, I can't wait to see you guys. Uh, big shout out to our friend Vicky there in Nashville at the Hermitage. Um, so I want to give a big shout out to her and a big shout out to our other friend uh, there, Vicky. We have so many friends in Nashville, Tennessee. It's crazy. We have two friends with the same name. After I said that, I realized that. So that's just crazy. And one is with a Y and one is with an I. Is it Vicky and Vicky? I just didn't even put two and two together. But we have these wonderful people all across this country. And we need you guys. So check us out at tinyurl.com slash 102550. We are there with all of our YouTube stuff, videos, and podcasts. Check out Buster the Squirrel. Check out all my freaking minions. I, I mean, I can't tell you how many minion things I have in this house. Um, if I started counting, it would be another 10-minute video. Um, I do have things from Despicable Me 1, 2, 3, and the movie Minions. So, really excited. I have really cool things in my house. I also have a Princess Peach from Mario Kart, which is a great story that I will tell one time on the wake-up call or the just a podcast. Maybe we'll talk about video games in the podcast. Give us some ideas of what you want to hear. And most of all, get involved. Get involved in your community. 
even if it's not with 102550, get involved with your community. And then you'll learn who your elected officials are and whether you like them or not. And then when you go to vote, you know who you're voting for. Because the worst thing is you looking at the ballot and saying, hey, that person has a cool last name. I'm going to vote for them. And they're a complete dink. So you got to learn who you're voting for. All right, so folks, like I said, this this is uh, one of the loves of my life when it comes to business is 102550. And I, I couldn't, couldn't say that, uh, enough for it that I'm just pleased as punch that I get to do this every single day podcast and make videos and talk to people about ending homelessness I mean how cool is that to think that we can actually end homelessness and that we could do it it's possible we need to do it together takes a village folks so I'm going to have a video up just yeah one last thing before I go here uh, we did an interview yesterday. I did an interview yesterday with Dan. Um, and Dan is from uh, Nyack, New York. And I used to live in Haverstraw, New York. So it was actually pretty darn close to where I used to live. And Dan is doing a podcast every week uh, talking about different services that are available uh, for disabled folks and for homeless folks and just folks in need of services. And I did an interview with him yesterday. It went really, really well. Once that is set, I will send it out to the masses, let you guys know, and you guys can listen to it and uh, like, share, subscribe to everything that we do. So check it out, folks. And I'm going to get out of here and do more podcasts and get more things done so we can have more fun here on The Scott Show and make things happen. So... Folks, I want to thank you again for everything. Thank you guys for listening to the show. We've had a, lot, a few live listeners today. I want to thank them for uh, checking us out live here on the Scott Show. The 102550 show will always be at 9 o'clock. But this week, it's going to be later. Or it's going to be at a different time this weekend that, uh, because I will be in the cities. But we will change it up a little bit and you guys will know what's up. And I will send out a link to all of that. So thank you so very much. And we will see you guys real soon here on the 102550 show. You guys have a great night. And Maestro, take me out with some cool music.